Look, Joe, don't be surprised if around midday you suddenly find yourself all alone on the street. It's another old Spanish custom, siesta time. Get set for hot weather. We're right around the equator. March to May is generally the hottest time of the year. The heat is usually sticky, sweaty. But don't kid yourself. Siesta or not, these people know how to work and have plenty of big time jobs to work at. Lumber, big timber, mahogany, hardwoods. The foothills and mountains on the islands are covered with them. The Japs had their eyes slanted on this stuff, saw it in terms of planes and ships long before we stopped thinking they were just dream boys. But millions of feet of good lumber was deliberately destroyed by the Filipinos before the Japs had a chance to grab it. Sugarcane. Thousands of acres under cultivation. The Filipino sugar bowl was one of the world's biggest and richest. More than a million men and women kept filling it. It went out by boatloads. Coconuts. The Japanese wanted control of this business, too. Know why? Coconut oil makes glycerin. Glycerin makes high explosives. High explosives make supermen. Supermen make war. Rubber. The Philippines have this white gold growing in their backyards. Tobacco. Cutting it. Bringing it in. Here in one of the factories, they're rolling the leaf. Perfectos. Stogies. Maybe rope. But it all adds up to a big time business. And here's the real rope. The McCoy. Manila hemp. Grown from the ground up. The most famous and oldest industry in the 7,000 islands. This man slicing the fibers of the abaca plant. Shredding out the long, tough strands. It's dried. Then twined. Back in the old Nantucket Clipper days, Yankee traders tied up with manila hemp in ports over the seven seas. War or peace, it's still sailing the seven seas. No other country comes even near producing as much. Factories, machines, workers handling every kind of skilled job, the kind of people that can run their own country the kind of people that want peace in the Far East. But also the kind of people that started learning a new job on the double, a trigger-squeezing job we taught them while the Japs were landing. The kind of people that went into the hills as guerrillas and fought the Jap army for two years because they knew what they wanted, knew what they had to do to get it. The kind of people that got into GI issue and trained in American camps. The kind of people that are marching back with you. The kind of people that idolize this American because he stands for everything we promised and are doing for the Philippines. The kind of people that want their children to grow up as our kids will grow up in a world without fascist dictators. Yeah, we're coming back to those 7,000 islands, to those 17 million Americans. This isn't just another movie. Take it from me. These people aren't natives. They aren't beggars. They have cities and farms and industries. They have schools and courts and a constitution. They also have pride and patriotism and self-respect. They love freedom. They'll die for it. They have died for it.
don't throw your money around. For two years, the Japs have looted the Philippines, and there's probably very little left in the stores for the 17 millions who live there. Don't get out of line, either. For years, the Japs have smeared anti-American propaganda in China, Burma, Malaya, and among the millions of Filipinos. They fill them full of lies about us. Don't give them a chance to broadcast. I told you so. Just one word more. It's a word that covers a lot of ground. It covers 48 states. It covers 7,000 islands. The word is American. The Filipinos are American. Treat them like Americans. And Joe, don't for one day, one hour, one minute, ever forget that last message sent by a GI who saw his starved comrades, Americans and Filipinos, dying around him at Corregidor. What you are about to hear now is a transcript of the radio messages that came out of Fort Mills Corregidor on May 5th. They are not near yet. We are waiting for God only knows what. The white flag is up. Everyone is bawling like a baby. They're piling dead wounded soldiers in our tunnel. Corregidor used to be a nice place. It's haunted now. Get this to my mother. My love to Pa, Joe, Sue, Mac, Carrie, Joy, and Paul. Tell Joe wherever he is, give him hell for us. Joe, you know who he means. Give him hell. Keep giving them hell till we get to Tokyo.